and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to add addresses to your apps with the help of the address block available in Clapier. Let's see how to use this feature with the help of an example. Here I have created a very simple version of an app for maintaining marketing activity tracker. It captures information such as the employee's name, the date, time, details of activity to be conducted and if it's a weekly or a monthly activity. In this app, I would also like to capture the location of the shop at which the marketing activity is going to take place. So let's see how to add this option. I'll go to the design app where we can edit the app. You can also see all the earlier fields. Now I'll click on add field and then click on the address block. This address block is useful for address verification purposes, collecting contact information, location tagging and much more depending on your requirements. This block can be configured on the right hand panel over here. There are two options, basic and advanced for configuring. The first thing I will do is to change the label into location. You can also give a description to the field. This is usually to let a user know what to input into a field or it could be some kind of helpful information for them. Over here, I will just type in, please enter correct address. When I click on save, you can see the description has appeared at the bottom of the field. You can also mark this field as required if you want the location to be captured before submission and you do not want the user to miss out in filling in this field, you can enable this option. When I click on save, you can see the field is now denoted with a red star mark, which means it's a required field. Now let's see how this app works. I'll go to the app home. You can see the address block has appeared on the app and here you can enter your desired location. For example, I will take Times Square. And as you can see, once you start typing in an address, you will start to see suggestions and you can select the suitable address. The GPS location is then displayed on a map along with the GPS coordinates. You can also restrict your search within certain countries or maybe just one country. So for that, I'll go back to the design app and on the right hand panel for the address block, I will select the advanced option and you can see the countries list option over here. Once you click on the countries list, you can select a list of countries to restrict the address search. For example, I will select India and then click on save. Now let's see how this works. I'll go back to app home. Here I can type in my address again. And the moment I start typing in an address, it will only be restricted to India and no other country. You can also implement display conditions for your address block. For example, if the type is selected as weekly, then you do not need the address block to be shown in the map. But if the type is selected as monthly, then you'd like the address block to appear. So let's see how to implement this kind of condition. I'll go back to design app and in the advanced option, you can see display this field if. Over here, you will be able to implement conditions and logic in Clapier. If you have worked with spreadsheets, you know you'll be able to implement conditions like if, else, or etc. The same can be done here as well. We share a similar library. But in place of cell numbers, we use the concept of variable names, which you can find at the top of every field in brackets. Now, as I mentioned, if the type is selected as monthly, only then would you like the address block to be displayed in your app. So over here, I will type in at the rate type equals to monthly. Now I click on save and we'll see how this works. You can see now that the address block has disappeared from the app. If I select type as weekly, nothing happens. But if I select it as monthly, then the address block appears. You can have the address that you have typed in as well as the GPS coordinates to be shown separately from this block. To implement that, we go back to the design app and then I click on add field and then I select the calculations and logic block. On the right hand panel, I will change the label into address and under the formula, again here you can implement calculations and logic. Here I will type in at the rate location and you can see there are two locations that have appeared over here. So if I just simply select location, it will give me the address. I click on save. Now I'll add another field and select calculations and logic. Here I will type in GPS coordinates. Under formula, I will type in at the rate location and I will select location has GPS. Now I'll click on save and go back to app home. Now let me just fill in the details of this app really quickly. For the type, I will select it as monthly and then get the address block. I will type in the address over here. The GPS location on the map has appeared now and you can see that the address and GPS coordinates has been captured separately. This is useful in case you need to use the information 
in other fields such as geotagging your photos or maybe calculating distance between two locations. Now I can go ahead and make a submission. This feature also works in the mobile version. All you have to do is download the Clapier app from either Play Store or App Store and the moment you create your app here, it will be ready to use in the mobile app as well. So let's see how that looks like. Over here, you can see the mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. So I'll go ahead and click on the app and from my list of apps, I will search for the marketing activity app. You can see that the app is live and ready to use. So let me go ahead and fill in the details of this app over here as well. You can see the moment I select monthly, the address block appears. You can see that the GPS location on the map has also appeared. In this way, you can use the address block on the mobile version as well. Now let's go back. On the web version, if you want to view any submissions, you can click on the submissions tab. And the moment you select a submission, a right hand panel will appear that has captured all the details of the submission. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of the address block or any features in Clapier, you can request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.